I'm sad and unhappy. I cannot let Shalom. Salutations. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. And if it's your first time here, hello. And I'm glad you clicked on this video today. I'm glad you wanted to watch it. Have been going through so much, so much so that I am not at liberty to discuss it at the moment. But when the timing is good, when I'm in a better environment, then I can talk about it, okay? But for now, we don't have to worry about me doing anything. Um, I've been trying to film, but I just can't anymore. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really do want to quit YouTube. I feel like it's just not for me anymore. And I'm starting to like, I don't know. My birthday's in two days, and I'm not even excited. I was before, because I made plans to do shrooms and everything, and get a tattoo, get pierced. But I'm trying to like get depressed again. But I look pretty, so. Okay. Well, I don't feel anything so far, so. All right, let's get started. I did have this plan that I was gonna talk about Malu and uh, Billie Eilish. And I think I might still do that. It's gonna be a little bit difficult later on, I suppose. Howdy. I have received a, another perfume from Dossier and it, this one is called Citrus Tea. This one I got because I wanted something that smelled like a little bit different, you know, because the perfumes that I got, like they smell really fancy, but I also kind of want one that's like, you know, not too strong really. Like this one was like really, it's got like a nice smell to it. It's sweet, you know what I mean? Like. It doesn't try too hard to be like a really sweet perfume. It just is sweet. And it's like, you know, not off-putting or anything. Like it's, it smells really good. And it kind of like brings back a memory that I can't recall. It's so weird. You know when you smell something that reminds you of when you were younger? This is what it smells like, citrus tea. So it's kind of, when I smell it, it kind of makes me nostalgic in a way. I don't know why, but yeah. So the notes in there are bergamot, fig, black tea. Black tea, I do smell in there. The middle notes are bay leaf, tobacco, jasmine, vetiver. Some base notes are cedarwood, musk, hay, peach, and incense. It smells really, really good. Um, a great thing about Dossier is that when you go on their website, you can take a, look, a short six question quiz to figure out what kind of perfume would best suit you, which is also great, like if you don't know what to get. And they also give you free shipping when you spend like $25 or more on their orders. And on top of free shipping, you can also get a discount. Um, I will give you a code, I'm gonna put it right here, Sarah Alyssa 10 It's the same code that you can use and you can get a discount off of these perfumes. They're really good and they're sold at l like less than half of a retail price. I don't know if I told you guys before, but they always, these perfumes, they smell expensive. They're high quality perfumes. They're vegan and cruelty free on top of that, which is really, but these are really good and they never mess with my allergies. And you guys know I have serious sinus problems. Um, but anyways, yeah, this one smells really, really good. Citrus tea. If you guys want it, I will leave a link into my bio for it. Um, I'm gonna let you guys get back to the video. Oh, um, I don't know when you're gonna see me pop out and make a look with this hair, but my hair is red and black. Mm -hmm. I actually really like it. I dig it. Like, it looks so cool. Anyways, all right, back to the video. I was on TikTok and I didn't even know about this whole thing. I had unfollowed Billie Eilish. Like, I used to follow her on Instagram. I unfollowed her because I forget why. And then also I saw that video of um, Phineas asking her why she was talking like that. And I always wondered, it's like her voice would change. Like when she would, would do like the Vanity Fair interviews, it seemed like there was always some type of voice change in there. Like, let's do this shit. Year three. Y'all been asking for it, so here we are. And you know, her mom came around, she didn't talk like that, you know? Hey, bro, this bitch trying to fuck. Hey, bro, this bitch trying to fuck. So it, it's, 
it was was weird it was really really weird to me the whole thing with Billie eilish is it's like she'll use black culture and profit off of black culture and then be this like performative activist but then when like but then like in her real everyday life she's not like that like you know and i don't know her personally but it's just actions speak louder than words for me like you say you support the black lives matter movement everything but yet there you are with a white male that is racist who's openly racist um and when your fans expressed this to you you said that they were embarrassing that they were um i don't know reaching or something is that what she said um i'll put in the evidence that i can find on that on, on her response there was this like screenshot going around of her changing her bio to taken and then there was the photos of them out getting coffee or whatever i remember seeing the video for lost cause it was on like the training page i'm like okay let's watch it like and the thumbnail was very um what's the word It was a it was very attention grabbing. I was like, oh, okay. Basically, you know, she's in the video dancing with the girls and you know, pretending to like like alluding to some sort of like sexual thing, you know. What is it? I think they called it by fishing. I don't know these new terms, but um yeah. But anyways, it just seemed really weird to me. Even that was like that turned me off a lot it's like she uses black culture and profits off from it and now that she's done done with it now she's done you know using the hip-hop beats over her you know whispering she's done with that um and now she's you know moving on to other things i suppose uh pretending to like women is one of them apparently i don't know all this stuff that's coming out about her now is like it's so like telling it's like these celebrities man like they all all they care about is money like they don't even live by the standards that they say that they do like she really sat up here and had like oh you know was talking about black lives matter like she actually supported it you know but here you are dating a known homophobic racist sexist man and she sees nothing wrong with that and let's not even get into the fact that she's underage i don't care you know what you know let's not get into the fact about the age difference let's not even go there but uh, that's already a problem within itself like i remember seeing this tiktok of like when phineas was like oh why are you talking like that you don't talk like that like, what the fuck i love my dad and he's phineas, 61. phineas comes in and all i hear is which is like <laughs> the theme song at the beginning of all David Dobrik videos. This shit is funny as fuck. Hey Billy, why are you speaking with an accent? Huh? Vinius comes in, he watches a lot of these David Dobrik videos. <laughs> what are you doing? You sound nothing like yourself. Because that's dead how I talk. That's how I talk. It's nothing like you. It is. You're fake as shit. No, I'm not. You're being... Of, like completely a different person. So I found this video of a So I found this video. What is the voice? <laughs> That you're doing. It's I'm totally. Not, I'm not. It's not your voice. Yes, it is. And then people are like defending him, like being like, "Oh, yeah, you tell her." I'm just like, "Hey, like, it's a good thing he called her out on it, but that doesn't uh, excuse him either, because we don't know. We don't know. These celebrities are very itchy. It was a red flag even when she said that she liked Justin Bieber. I remember like hearing about her. And Justin Bieber saying, oh my god, she loves me, Justin Bieber, she loves him so much. I thought it was a joke at first. And then... It was real, like, she really actually wanted to meet him. Anybody that says they like Justin Bieber, that's a red flag for me. Um, why? What about him do you like? Do you like this, or do you like that? I don't know, like come on like his music is terrible what's funny is i was planning on making this video and in the process of like gathering information i've like another thing a video like resurfaced of her 
being racist to Asians. Are you getting me? Like, wow. That's... In addition to her clothing, one of the things that has helped Billy establish herself is her personality. Billy's mannerisms and slang can be seen as derived from black culture. Billy not only uses African American vernacular English, but she also has a very clear black scent, something that her brother, who was raised in the same household, does not have. You know what? I'm not even surprised at this point. Every time something comes out about these white celebrities being racist, I'm not surprised. I'm just like, what? And I know her white friend, her white fans are gonna try and justify it and say like, oh, she, oh, it was so long ago. Like it was like, it was a year ago, two years ago. All of this shit that's happening is recent now, especially with her dating this racist ass man, like it's recent. The defenses for her are so stupid and ridiculous. Like, oh, just because she's dating a racist man doesn't mean she's racist. I'm not gonna date somebody whose values don't align with my own. So why would she date somebody that's not, you know what I mean? Like she wouldn't date anybody whose values don't align with her own. Like that doesn't make sense. Just when she was wearing all that baggy shit, like she was wearing the baggy clothes and then she had the long acrylic nails and it was cute at first, but all of it was fake. Disappointing. Cause you know what? And I remember when she was first, like, I don't wanna say when she first came out cause the first song I heard from her was Ocean Eyes. Like, I'm like, wow, this is great, you know? And then like, it seemed like she was alternative and that's the vibe I was getting from her. I'm like, okay, she's alternative artist. In the first sentence of her apology, she's basically saying, oh, I'm addressing this because I want to address this. Like, no, stop fucking lying. You only had to address this because the Asian slur video came out and you know you got more shit. You're hiding. You know you got more shit that's about to come out about Billie Eilish. I'm calling it right now. Something else is gonna come out, but I'm pretty sure you could guess. She didn't want to address the fact that she's dating a racist homophobic man or the fact that the that she talks with the black scent and profits off black culture and our, our aesthetic and she's a performative activist. Like, you know what I mean? She didn't want to address any of those things, but this, all of a sudden, like, this is the one thing that she wants to address. Like, and when people were saying like, oh, you know, someone should, you know, Billie Eilish shouldn't talk this way. It was all, shut up, shut up. Oh, you black people are always da 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 All of that shit you were saying. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this shit's come, more shit's coming out about her and everybody's mad. But what really, people are mad about the most is the um the lost cause video more people started to like oh want to listen now because of that video that came out the lost cause video and it just it's just very telling it's very telling. i think it's funny like when people try and like educate you like people of the race that you offended they try and add to educate you or they try and explain like nobody was attacking her they were just asking like why does she need to talk with that accent and instead of addressing it she just was like oh you guys are embarrassing oh my god like and not even caring you didn't care about it before but now that oh your career is in jeopardy now all of a sudden you care obviously you think her fans are going to support her you know it's not like, she, this is not gonna do anything to her career. Her career is gonna be fine. It's like her being friends with Justin Bieber should have told you something. If I wanted to be fucking black, you would hear me talking about I'm black, I'm black. I would be saying the N word. I would be fucking I, doing shit that's, that's, that black people do. Instagram people are saying, don't call me a nigga cracker. I ain't scared of nigga nigga now. Oh, what's up, bitch? <laughs> The fuck, I don't act black. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Who wants to be black? I don't, I didn't know. I had just got home. Like, I well, hadn't been on social media for months. I, I should have told you everything you need to know right there. I was so, like, that was like the first, like, oh, mm, that's a little iffy for me. 
I'm not saying people can't change or whatever. That's not what I'm going to sit here and say. But I feel like if you're a real ass bitch, like if you're real, like you're a real honest person and you are who you say you are, then don't go around saying, oh, that you're one thing and then going out in the real world and portraying another thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't sit up here and say that you support Black Lives Matter and that you're an ally um, and you're also dating a racist man. Sexist, homophobic man. Like, and then you want to talk with like a black sin. Like, that's not even how you fucking talk. Like, why? Why do y'all do that? And especially when they get around black people, be honest. Be honest with yourself. Like, why do you feel the need to change your vernacular when you're around certain people? I know Billie Eilish stands are gonna attack me. But now when she protested, like, babe, she was taking pictures there the whole time. It was performative. It. During that whole time when people, during like, you know, quarantine when people were like protesting and everything and a black person was dying every single day. I mean, it's still happening, obviously, but it was just like a high, so many cases of it happening more and more and more. Um, You know, the celebrities didn't want to get canceled or whatever. So then they were going out and taking photos at the protests and, you know, pretending to be an ally because it would look good. I said this before. I'm like, I will never forget this. I will never forget these celebrities who um, were going out and protesting and taking photos the whole time. Like it was a fun little thing that was happening. Like taking it as a joke. Who's that girl, that girl that, um, I can't remember her name. I don't know. But there's this girl that had called the paparazzi on herself. I mean, she's, I'm sure she does that a lot, but she called the paparazzi on herself when she was like protesting or so, or so she says she was protesting. Um, but she was only there to take photos the whole time. These are the celebrities that are performative activists. Oh my God, it's hitting, it's hitting. I feel it hitting now because I'm slurring my words. But you know what? We're gonna push through. This is good practice um, for me, just in case I get in a situation like this where I have to explain myself. Um. Anyways, I think the thing is people wanted to like her so much because she had green hair. I'm just like, so? Like, is that why? I don't know. She had said something about rap, how was, you know, she was talking shit about rap music. I'm like, how are you gonna talk shit about rap music and then go hang out with rappers and try and dress like a rapper and then talk with an accent, you know, try and act and try and portray this thing that you're not. But you know what? They ate it up. They were like, oh my God, she's so cool. Oh my God. One thing that was definitely, one thing that should have told y'all that she was fraudulent is when she was hanging out with Bad Baby and XXX. And you know what? I'm not even going to talk about him because he's from Florida where I currently reside. So I'm not going to talk about X. But she was hanging out with Bad Baby. Like, what the fuck? Like, that red 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 flag right there they're best they were besties or whatever at one point um and you know everybody knows what bad baby is famous for or known for oh laughing like so funny did did you say the 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 hoes are laughing yep so the audience are a bunch of hoes yeah catch me outside how about that huh catch me outside how about that um and even knowing all of that and how bad baby is, how she acts and how she wants to be black so bad, um, you know, Billie Eilish still hung out with her and they were besties, you know. That was one of the first red flags. I'll admit, she at first she had me, she tricked me for a while, I won't lie. She did have me. Um, it's it's disappointing, but it's it's not surprising. Obviously, not gonna listen to Billie Eilish anymore. Not that I was. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't listening to her. Her music is just so. I I liked her, 
during the first part of her career, I believe like, you know, when Ocean Eyes came out and then um, that particular EP, the first EP, I think. I was like, okay, like she seems kind of cool, but then all the songs became repetitive. When she dropped her album, that's when I was like, mm, not for me, cause it just seemed very repetitive. The same tired beats over and over. You know, it's funny. It's like you make repetitive ass music and then you wish, like you whisper on like a trash ass hip hop, like, like not even a hip hop beat, like a wannabe hip hop beat, like a vanilla watered down. Tell me which one is worse. What is it about them? Baby, I don't feel so good. Like it, like, say I like it like that. You are my strange addiction. Something's in the air right now. It's boring. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be honest, it's boring. And I knew that her new single that she dropped was gonna be boring. But I still, I'm like, eh, I couldn't resist. I saw Girls in the Thumbnail and I clicked on it. And then... <laughs> she posted this the photo and she was like, I love girls. I'm just like, really? Do you really love girls? Or are you being performative? Yeah. You should believe in your artistry enough to where you don't have to be fake to make people like you, you know. She was all about, you know, hip hop before and being alternative and shit. And now it's like, oh, I'm watered down. Um, I'm so sweet and innocent. Oh my God. And then she, bleached her head blonde and now it's oh my god rap music is so like bad oh my god like all of a sudden I don't like rap music but I like talking in a black scent and dressing and black culture and profiting off of it no, no, it's like, it's ghetto when you guys do it, but it's okay when I do it, it's cool. I don't know. I don't fucking trust people like that. Another red flag for me was when she was on this television show and they asked her if she, what's her favorite Van Halen song? She's like, what, what's Van Halen? Or she didn't know what Van Halen was basically. That is a red flag. All right, I don't care. You don't have to listen to Van Halen, but the fact that you didn't even know they were a band is a red flag. All right? But apparently she likes the Foo Fighters. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> I look so bad. <laughs> Anyways, so what is my point? My point is I'm not gonna sit here and tell you not to listen to her music anymore. Although I feel like that should be a given. Uh, her career isn't gonna suffer. She's gonna be fine, obviously. But if you still choose to listen to her music and support her, I'm gonna look at you sideways. And I know there are people that even I follow that are still gonna support her. And I'm just like, you know what? You can't save them all. <laughs> so. Now the next topic is Dang, little mama, you is such a loser. Malu, the Malu situation, like, I used to always hear about this girl cause she was always in drama, some type of Instagram drama type thing. I always used to hear about her. I never liked her, I never liked her always thought she was fraudulent. I just, she was, she, fraudulent. I just always thought she was fraudulent. Ah, what the fuck does this, my nigga? Oh God. I don't even wanna talk about her. I don't even like her. Like, I don't 
like this chick. The only reason I'm talking about her is because people were saying how, oh, she's wearing box braids. She's always doing the most, doing the most racist shit. Now I'm gonna get braids even more now, just because of what she's saying. And but and then there's these creepy ass men in her comments always defending her because they want to sleep with her. Like she's a child. I mean, look. But every time I see a ch Chinese person, I go, <gasps> don't breathe. I just, somebody needs to catch her, like, catch her off guard and just beat her ass up. Like, just beat her up. Just beat her up. Doesn't she live down here? But, um, yeah, somebody needs to just catch her off guard and beat her up. Yeah. And the thing is, she does these things and she thinks she looks good and... She's like, oh, now you guys are telling me that wearing box braids are racist. I'm gonna wear them even more now. Like... <laughs> You're such a stupid bitch, and I can't wait for the day when somebody catches you off guard and whoops your ass. I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna enjoy it so much. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna eat my popcorn, and I'm gonna, you know, watch you get your ass beat, and I'm gonna laugh. And I'm telling you that's gonna happen. I just know it's going to happen. Um, I called it. I just want to be the one to say it. I knew this shit was gonna happen, but um, it will. <laughs> And that also brings me to the Black Barbie situation. Like, why every time somebody tells you, if somebody's telling you, oh, something offends them and you keep doing it, it's just like, why? I don't understand that. And all the people that were fighting about like saying, oh, so we can't sing now. You know, it's not about whether or not you can sing. You can always sing a song. It's about women black women getting representation that's the whole point it's just like and they act like they don't get that no they get it it's just that they don't like to be not be they don't like to not be included in anything like in every single sound if a if anyone says oh, okay this sound is only for hispanic people this sound is only for Native Americans or, you know, only for Native people. You know what I mean? Like only for Asian people. This sounds only for Asian people. Like they respect that and there's only Asian people or, you know, it's un only those type of people under the sounds. But if, as soon as a black person says, okay, this is only for black women, then they wanna, it's always some white girls at the top. Either Charlie or Dixie or some one of those girls, the one of those girls that have no talent and they're just boring. a young nigga got it bad because I'm brown. Just so boring. <laughs> can we talk? Wait, can we talk about like Charlie and Dixie? They're just so boring and racist. And that other girl, what's her name? I can't remember. Addison Racist, that one. She, like, oh my god. They're so boring. And when you put together the original dances and then them dancing, it's just so, like. It just, like, it's so. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. They have no talent at all, yet they have so. They get so many opportunities. Don't need you to hold me if I'm though you don't need to get let me be sad. What's the matter with that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's more to do with racism than anything, which is so obvious. It's obviously just racism. 
That's why TikTok always puts their videos at the top. And I'm sure that when they make these videos, they know it's for, you know, black women or, you know, they'll steal someone's dances and get more views, but they won't give them credit. And it just never looks right. It never looks good. It's so funny, like, like they really think they're out here doing something, like, you're boring. That's all I even have to say about them is that they're fucking boring. We're over it. You guys should be happy now. You don't have to pretend to like your music. Just like when that whole Lana Del Rey thing happened and people are still supporting her. Be sure of that. If you like and a friend of like the opposite race, like like the same, stand the same person and then something racist comes out about them, see how they react to that and then that should tell you something about them. That might end your friendship real quick. So, you know, think about that, I guess. I try to put on lashes and they feel so heavy on my face. That's how you know you put them on wrong when they feel heavy. Or maybe because they are heavy fucking lashes. No, I definitely put these bitches on wrong. I did. Um, I can't even see. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, it was a struggle to put on these lashes. It, it took way longer than it should have to put on these lashes and I, freaking cried a little messed up my eyes so i have to fix that uh, okay okay here we go i'm really thirsty but you know what i feel like i could eat another one should i i don't know maybe i should wait i'm gonna wait five minutes and then i will eat another one because who cares, right? I'm gonna be using my MAC foundation and it's in the color NW46. Just in case anybody asks what foundation I'm using. Oh, you know what I just realized? My hair is orange. I've been planning for months to have orange hair. I had this wig for months and it was so hard not to wear it, but you know. My birthday is in a couple days. So now I'm gonna use the the spray. This is called the Heritage Spray. It's rose water. This one is actually, I read the ingredients for this one this time and it's actually rose water. Wow, can you believe that? And I was using freaking Mario Badesco spray for a long ass time and it, messed up my skin so bad to where I still have forehead acne and there were a couple days where like I had really really good skin like clear clear ass skin and I'm still trying to get back to that I need to do more face masks and I told myself if I finish my makeup before six o'clock I will go get a tattoo won't that be fun like if we can get this shit done I'll go get a tattoo Oh, damn. That means I can't eat another edible then. Um. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to go get another tattoo. They're like, oh, you can't be high or you can't be... Like, you have to have eaten. Oh, shit. Then, man, I really can't. Maybe I could. I have gotten, like, a tattoo before and I did almost pass out. So, nah, maybe not but i am a trooper i almost passed out like i was with my friend and i went to get this tattoo insert a photo right there of my foot i remember getting up and then as soon as i got up i felt lightheaded as hell like it was crazy like you don't feel it when you're getting the tattoo but as soon as it's over shit i got up and i felt like i was gonna die like i was like okay 
you're gonna pass out but i'm like no if i pass out then he's gonna know i was high and i might get in trouble i always think about that every time i like get too high and i start to freak out i always think of oh you could go to jail or I could get my ass beat. So I'm like, let me just act like everything's fine. And then I it went away after a couple seconds. I'm like, okay, you're good. Like, cause I'm, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna be that bitch that passes out from getting a tattoo. That's not gonna be me. Sometimes I'm like, damn. Wait, no, because that's too much. So like, I just stayed calm. Um, I got up. I was like, oh, the room is spinning. I acted like everything was fine. I started, I was like talking like normal conversation, like, you know. Then we went home, everything was fine. But I do not recommend it. If you're gonna get a tattoo, please be 100% sober. And also make sure you eat that day. I had barely ate today, so I definitely probably could not go. I think you used to eat like six hours before you get the tattoo. Like you can't just come like 30 minutes before and, and get it. And then be like, okay, ready. I'm ready to get a tattoo. I want to get it like here. And I was supposed to get my jar of glass tattoo, but I just I'm like, mm, that's going to take a while. So I can't get that. But I do want to get my jar of flies and I want to get my belly button pierced. Oh. Oh, I thought my stomach came alive. <laughs> This is tricky. I'm to that point in my, I won't say recovery. All right, whatever. Okay, recovery. To where I can like touch my nose and it won't hurt. But the ring, the nose ring, the freaky nose ring, now it turns so much. I'll wait, I'll go to sleep. The nose ring will be like this straight, the way it should be. I'll wake up the next morning and it's like all the way around. I'm like, what the fuck happened last night? Like. I don't understand. And it's just very annoying. <laughs> Cause to turn it, oh my God, to have to turn it, it still hurts, I don't care. I mean, if I'm gentle enough and I go up to the, I don't know what it's called, I don't know, the navel cavity, whatever. If I can do it gently enough, then I can move it back to where it's fine and it won't hurt too bad. But you know, man, it's, I love having my septum pierced, but it's something else. I really need to get more jewelry, get some more. If anybody knows anywhere I can get some cute septum jewelry, let me know. I was thinking about getting my nipples pierced for my birthday, but I changed my mind because I'm just like, my boobs are already stressful enough right now. I'm not gonna add any more stress to that. And then also I'm afraid like they'll like, my nipples will like fall off. <laughs> I feel like that's like a folklore, like that doesn't happen. But I seen this thing, this Twitter, this thing um, on Twitter, this girl, she got her nipples pierced, whatever. She was in the shower and her nipple ring just like came out and so did her nipple. And I was like, whoa, but it'll be so hot if I had it done. Like I would just love to do it just for me. I would just want to like, say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me because i've been like just going through like a rough time um some people know what happened some people don't i cannot talk about it unfortunately um but when i'm in like a better place i'll be able to talk about it and then i can finally like tell y'all everything that i've been dying to say and it's so it sucks because i really want to be i really want to speak on certain things but i i can't can't. Unfortunately, certain circumstances have made it difficult for me and certain things that I really want to address, I cannot. Yeah. Oh shit.
have to buy more of this. It's my dad. He's very, very. Okay, I put the Laura Mercier setting spray on. I mean, setting powder. And um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know. Okay, I'm using this Elf bronzer. This is so weird. Sometimes I'm like, damn, 